You guys asked, so I'm going to give you guys my keybinds. I'm assuming that a lot of you guys are curious because you see that I edit with the keybind V, but this is because it's actually extremely optimal for my setup. So I'll show you guys my setup, how I've got my keyboard stationed, and then I'll show you guys me running some piece control drills as well as doing some 1v1s and show you guys why I have this the way I have it. So let's just get into this video. So I'm just gonna hop straight into the keybinds right now. If you guys wanna skip to this moment in the video, you can actually see gameplay here. But first and foremost, you're going to notice that I do not use any movement keys, and that's because I've purchased one of these joysticks right here. This thing is fully functional, it's amazing, and it is way more optimal. So instead of using movement here, I actually have these bound to either building binds or gun binds, so I can pull my guns out quicker. First weird thing we got going on, is my jump. It, I know that it says space here, but I actually push down on my joystick to jump, which is pretty much coded to space. So pretty simple, pretty easy, very similar to what people do on controller. Then sprinting and all of these other things are still very standard. Shooting is very standard. Reload is going to be F because instead of having my fingers up here on W, A, S, and D, I'm down one row. So this all makes sense. Z, harvesting tool is up on the mouse pad. Weapon slot A and S. So these are what my fingers are on naturally, which gives me a very big advantage when I'm actually fighting people. C as well, X and W. So this is all super optimal. Then we have building where my wall is going to be my fourth mouse button. My floor is going to be D. My stairs are going to be shift, which my pinky is always going to be on. And then my roof is mouse button five. Then from here, everything else is relatively standard. And that is about it for my keybinds. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple piece control drills here in our new warm up map. Highly recommend this one, code's down in the description. And then I'll show you guys some free builds. And finally, we'll get into some real 1v1s and I'll show you guys how we play on this. All right, so first up, we have a bunch of different options here, but I'm just gonna hop into the piece control map and show you guys how this works. Emote to return back. Let's hit a couple diagonal drills here too. And then honestly, drill two is my favorite on this one get practice going sideways and stuff and actually getting boxes in here. So now we're in the free build section here. Just gonna do a couple warm up builds, practice some 1v1 starts and stuff like that. Practice editing down, maybe some quad edits, ramp flips, that kind of stuff. All right, I think we're warmed up enough that we can actually hop in here. So let's go in and let's actually see what we can do in a regular old 1v1. Okay, I definitely choked on my 1v1 start. Holy bro. Bang, bang, bang. So that right there, guys, is why this movement is so good because you can actually just, you can make, you can take ridiculous angles on this stuff. And I swear to you that I am not sponsored by a joystick. Three, five, three, two, one, boom. Let him have it. Do you want to be right? 
Three, two, one, free fire. Oh! He was about to shotgun me in the head, bruh. Uh, I'm sorry, but you're dead, buddy. Do I let him win this? Free fire. Don't edit that open, dude. Go for some clips and stuff. Oh, that's his. Uh huh. Uh huh. Really bad peek on my part, by the way, guys. Don't do that peek. GG's, bro. I gotta, I gotta go. Oh, great. All right, guys. So as you can see, this setup right here is actually optimal. You can play well. I'm a boomer when it comes to Fortnite. You know what I mean? I'm 25 years old. I should not have a good reaction time, but this actually gives me a little bit more of an edge over the 12-year-olds uh, that spend 20 hours a day playing Fortnite, and it allows me to actually be able to beat them out most of the time. So. If you guys want the this product, I'll link it down in the description. I am not sponsored by them at all. I just really like their product. I think it makes you a better player overall, and it's a lot of fun to learn on. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.